Rebound in front of the net, scooped up by the Bees. Trying to flip it back to the line, Logan Johnston. He does, left point. Worbowski shot, scores! It's tipped in front, and Worbowski pays immediate dividends. Well, we just finished talking about his shot. That was a nice one. I don't know if it was, I think it might have been deflected or hit a defenseman, but, but a nice shot by Worbowski from the point, and he gets his point, first point as a Penticton V. 1-0 V's, the time of that goal, 2.48. Very early going, and a long point blast from the left side seemed to be altered in front of the netminder Benitez. Whether it hit a Spruce King or a V, we'll find out as they score it. Not buried one. Stetcher, right point for Derek Johnson. Firing, scores! 2-0 V's. A power play goal, a nice wrist shot by Johnson from the point. Puts the V's ahead two to nothing on their ninth shot of the period. And that is the V's third power play goal of the season on opportunity 17. They go to one for two in the man advantage and $20 for Penticton Minor Hockey. Courtesy save on foods. It should be Johnson from Stetcher. We'll see if there's a second assist. It's two nothing V's at the 649 or 39 mark. Bowski battling again on that left wall. Has the puck taken away. Kara. Dumped to the ground. Good physical play from Derek Johnson. Now a shot blocked by Johnson. Bruce King's final five seconds on the man advantage. Down low, a centering pass. Shot stopped by Faust. His best save of the night as he robbed Fez Khan in the slot. Now for Prince George end. They'll play it up for Kara. Cross center. Chips ahead. Nice move to the middle. Philly on in the slot. Slamming a shot on. Faust will stop it and cover it up. Another good stop from number one for the V's in his first game of the season. Right side of his own zone, he flips up over the glass and out of play, 48 and a half seconds remaining in the first. Not game against Salmon Arm, a seven o'clock game at the SOEC on Thursday night. And then the V's heading for a, a big road trip, three games and three nights. After, a sing after the night they play at home, it's four and four with three in the Caribou, that's a lot of bus ride. Tipped. Loose in front, they score! A point shot right off the draw from Filion, bounced off of E, hit the post, in behind Faust, it was rolling, he went to play it with his stick in desperation and poked it in, there's a bit of life for the Spruce Right side for Filion. Cross ice pass tipped up and in high into the end glass by Icabellas. Spruce Kings control, move to the line. Left point Davies, right point Filion. Long shot, gloved and cradled by Faust, who stood up and Caught that one in his midsection. Line has struggled with some chances in Bennett, O'Donnell, and Milan. Now Polk out there with the last chance inside a minute. Polk driving wide on his backhand shot, oh. hit the crossbar. A great chance. And that one, as close as you can get to going in, and I don't know what the whistle's for, but play comes to an end. Handle, two on two, Spruce Kings moving in, left side. Hannes, shot, stopped by Faust. He'll drop in the rebound as Hannes charges the net, and Faust gave him a Excuse me, Lalesia gave him a shot there as he was coming in like a freight train on Faust. Closed his hand on the puck, but that's undetected and play continues. Lukoff will play it behind the net. Waiting there, proving calm is Beaulieu. He'll move for O'Donnell who turned it over at the line. Look out, chance down low. Kara sliding was Lukoff to cut him off. Wraparound attempt, stopped by Faust and he'll hang on as O'Donnell failed to clear and the Spruce Kings got a glorious chance to tie the game. First of seven and eight days. That's close to torture, my friends. Kara centering, it's loose in the slot. Backhander, they score! A broken play in the Spruce Kings tie the game. As Faust came out to play it, he bumped into his own man and lost his position in the net, and a harmless backhander from Barra ties the game at two, with 7.21 remaining in the third. Lalesia kicks it to Mountain. All the way down the ice, it goes a race for the puck. Johnston against Filion. Filion got there first. Johnston muscled it away from him, and he's taken down to the ice, drawing a penalty. It'll be holding on Filion, and the strength of Johnston gets the V's back to even To the strength. slot, he'll play back to the blue line. Lukoff over to O'Donnell, right circle, down low. Benick with it, stops at the hash mark. Center is firing Lukoff. Great save, Thompson, to keep this a tie game as he dove to his right and caught that on his shoulder. Left side, 
Lalegia down low for Milan. He's in the left corner. Five seconds left. Stetcher slot. Right side O'Donnell waiting. Time expiring. The stick knocked out of his hand and he couldn't get a shot off as he didn't see the clock ticking down and we're off to overtime. Johnson off the wall. Left corner. Gets a return feed. Johnson, high slot, firing its tip wide of the mark. Rebound to Johnston, turning, firing, stopped by Thompson. Rebound jammed up by Milan, and diving out to cover it is Thompson to keep this game tied and alive in overtime. They've got the only one or two credited here in the first OT period. The Spruce Kings win the draw and will kill time in their own zone before blasting it off the glass, and there's the siren. 2-2 two, two through four periods. It'll be three on three. Next goal wins. Period number five in two minutes. Filion who pokes it to the corner. Benick there, but Filion won it away from him. Now moves to the line. At the point, losing the puck. Loik will steal from Manlow. It's a partial break. Loik in on net, shot stopped. It's loose on the goal line and covering it is Thompson. A great stop on Loik who didn't get the mustard he oh, wanted Anderson. on that. And now it Comes up the wall and out to center for the Spruce Kings. Stetcher, nice defense. Forcing an offensive player to stay in the neutral zone. And now Stetcher's back the other way. Nice spin move, trying to get around Henderson. Stetcher, great chance, they score! Logan Johnston, a beautiful goal set up by Troy Stetcher. Game over. Well, you want to see Paul Coffey? Just come and watch Stetcher. I'll tell you, what a play. He went in and did that spinorama. He sets Johnson up in front of the net, got the shot away, and then uh, and then uh, Johnson was standing there and popped it in. And that's really fitting that Logan Johnson should get that winning goal tonight because I'll tell you, he's been the best hockey player on both teams on the ice all night long. An unbelievable play. Stetcher, a spinorama around the defenseman. He cuts in front, gets a shot off that stopped. Johnston was not. Logan with the overtime winner as the V's win 3-2. Our post-game show coming up next after a wild one at the SOEC. This is V's Hockey on Easy Rock.